Friday, September 7th, 2.30 a.m. Mountain Time, 2018. Guys, this next video, we're going to take a look at what could potentially be one of the strongest cyclones ever recorded on planet Earth, at least in the top 10. Let me explain. We're over here in the Philippine Sea in the West Pacific Ocean. It's been producing cyclones all season long. This one here looks like it's going to be a extreme overachiever. Here we go. We are six days away. This is Thursday, the 13th. We're moving forward six hours at a time. Let me show you some of the wind speeds that I've clocked in this system. Both the GFS and the European models are showing the same thing. This thing is going to be a major, major cyclone, potentially in the top 10 ever recorded. I'll show you what I'm talking about. 165 there on Thursday in six days. 168, 170. I've got readings as high as 183. I've also clocked readings of 181 inside this storm. Um, all of the models right now, and again, they could change because it's a week out, but it's making a landfall in Taiwan at this moment. Um, that's what the models are showing. But that's a week out. That could change. Either way, I think this is going to form. It reminds me of Hurricane Irma from last year in 2017 in the Atlantic Basin. Um, if this thing does form, it could spell uh, a lot of problems for the island nation of Taiwan. If you know anyone over there or have interests in Taiwan, let them know that a super typhoon could be landing square on their island um, in a week. Look at this thing. This is next Friday, a week from today. Winds of 174, 175 miles an hour just offshore. Waves there would probably be in the neighborhood of 45 to 55 foot, probably quite easily. You can see it goes right over the center of the island, extending over into Far Eastern Asia. And if we could go any farther, you would see that this thing probably restrengthens and goes and makes a secondary landfall into Asia. Irma made seven landfalls because, because it went through the Caribbean islands. This thing here is in a world-class league, and the models are all showing the same thing. This is windy.com. The European model and the GFS model show the same thing. This thing growing to an enormous size with incredible wind speeds and the same destination, central Taiwan. So once again, if you have interest in Taiwan, about a week from today, they could be looking at one of the strongest hurricanes or cyclones ever recorded on planet Earth, at least in the top 10. And let me explain. This is the GFS model at windy.com. The European model shows the same exact thing, a landfall, Taiwan next weekend. We're at uh, weathercharts.eu. I want to show you a central low pressure that will tell us the strength or the approximate strength. Here's the storm right here. Let me move it. Watch the L right here. That's the storm. Thursday, Friday. I'm going to try to stop it at peak low pressure right there. take this back to there let's stop this thing at peak low pressure right right there 887 millibars that is in an elite class of typhoons here's a list of the 10 most powerful hurricanes typhoons in recorded history typhoon amy 1971 top 10 891 millibars. This one here is predicted to be 887. That would potentially make it stronger than the 10th most powerful storm ever recorded on planet Earth. Top 9, Typhoon Ida, 890 millibars. You're looking at 887. That's potentially stronger than the 9th strongest ever recorded. Typhoon Rita, 19, uh, 1978. 880 millibars. Typhoon Irma, 1971. That's interesting because we had Hurricane Irma, which was a world record setting hurricane last year in the Atlantic Basin. 
884 millibars, not too far apart, 887. And it goes on, and you can see this thing rivals the top two, 882 millibars at number one. That's Typhoon Nancy in 1961. Typhoon Violet, number two, at 886 millibars. This one's showing a potential 887 millibars. So this could be one of the strongest typhoons ever recorded on planet Earth. So be ready, guys, if you know anybody over there, give them a big heads up that this thing could be coming their direction in about a week. And it could be one of the strongest ever recorded. So give them a heads up. It's going to form in the Philippine Sea and head straight towards Taiwan. At least that's what all of the steering currents are showing right now. There's not too much wind shear. Everything is pointing in that direction. So we'll have to wait and see. But that is a big, powerful storm. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a super day and be safe out there.